Hello, my name is Molly Urban, and today I wanted to share another perspective on leadership, specifically centered on the next level of healthy communication. Last week we talked about how to avoid miscommunication, yet go beyond just a desire for clear communication onto healthy and collaborative communication. I gave an ideal model for how we do this. It begins with asking questions of others. Next, answering questions from others. And lastly, sharing on yourself, sharing from your vantage point. Now, there is an ideal way to operate within this model. Just like the fundamental law of physics, we operate according to cause and effect. Now, there are four types of causes someone can give when they're interacting, when they're communicating. Now, the word cause sounds fancy. It's really not. We use it every day when we're communicating. And the word be cause, all it means is the start or the beginning. If you take the collaborative communication guidelines and the causes that we're going to work through now, you can measure it, the health of every interaction going forward. Now, the four types of causes, I'm going to share them from unhealthiest to the healthiest. The first is a worst cause. This one is actually destructive. It is unhealthy for everyone involved in the interaction. It can actually be classified as abuse because it hurts the other person. This is where a lot of people trigger and where a lot of fights begin. A worst cause is negation, to negate another person. The second is a bad cause. A bad cause is a projection. This is telling someone what they think or what they feel. Third is a not bad cause. Not bad means it's, it's a healthy cause. What it is, is it's when you're asking close-ended questions or you're sharing statements of opinion. The fourth are good causes. These are open-ended questions, so you're giving the other person the opportunity to share and statements of fact. The good and not bad causes are the healthiest. They are the ones that will maintain your mental health and help maintain the mental health of others. So now you know how to measure interactions going forward. You have the healthy communication guidelines and you now know the good and not bad causes that are given during an interaction. Do you want to have healthy and collaborative communications going forward. Thank you for letting me share my leadership thought. Have a great week.